Welcome to our course, Cross-Selling Using Neural Network, and in this part of our project, we're going to continue with our analysis. So this time we will have our numerical data. So last time what we had was the understanding and analysis of the categorical data. We will have first the statistical distribution of our numerical data. So we're going to have the described function, but in this case, what we'll do is that we're going to use the transpose function because as for me um, it's quite friendly to our eyes if we do this kind of formatting let's execute this one right so here you could see the different numerical features we have the age the balance this means the amount the duration the campaign the days then the previous I mean the p days so we have the count then we have the count the mean the standard deviation in this case of course, the minimum value for each one, the 25%, 50, 75, and we have the maximum. So for the age, we have the youngest is 18 years old, and the oldest is 95 years old. And the balance that they have to pay is here. Okay, the balance they have left is not necessarily the payment, but it's uh, the amount that they are entitled to have. The minimum is, this one is negative, and the maximum is 102. 1,127. This is the amount that they can still enjoy. So let's group by these different values. So we group that by subscribed, those who have subscribed or not. Let's execute this one. And of course, we sort the values by balance. So this is the basis of the sorting. And this is in ascending form. Well, ascending is false. So it is in the descending order. Okay, so we have in there, we have those who have not subscribed, the balance is 100 or 1,307. Those who have subscribed, it is 1,787. Okay, so as you could see here, um, based on this balance and the duration, those who have subscribed have higher values in comparison to those who did not subscribe. Campaign, as you could see, um, those who have subscribed is just very slow. I mean, very small comparison to those who did not subscribe. And the reason for this disparity in numbers is that those who have subscribed have easy access to information as to, for example, what the products and services a particular company, this particular company is offering. So they can just easily buy this particular product or service probability in days okay this one is higher for those who have subscribed and previous this one is also higher let's go to the univariate analysis so we have imported the matplotlib import colors this is for our plot so we could easily see the distinction between the different um, unique values in each of these features then we have also imported the person for matter it's because we would like to see how the numbers can look like using this person for matter and more about that one later um when we already have uh, lots so let's have the balance first here we have normalized the group min and the maximum and that we also show here the balance distribution and the box plot distribution so we, we would know easily the magnitude of these data points that we can consider outliers okay so let's execute this one okay so something is wrong the color is not defined so we have not yet uh, executed this one okay now let's have this all right so there you go so here this is the result of the importation of the color. So we could see the different colors here. Here, So as we could see, we have a lot of our customers have zero balance. And that's good. And here, we could see the box plot distribution. And so we can see that there are a lot of those that can be considered outliers above and even below the whiskers. So now, why do we have to use the normalize function in this case? So the reason for that is we have used here different measure. So for the campaign that is in days, P days, 
is the probability in this that is a probability of buying another product or service let me repeat this one um those who have not subscribed they have lower probability of buying another product or service and those who have subscribed of course they have higher probability and so this is not based on the number of days as a measure unlike your duration your campaign and your previous and the balance is about the money it's how much so because we have here different measures so it's appropriate to just use normalized function so that they would be in the same scale of zero to one that's the main reason now let's go to our duration let's execute this one okay and for the duration we have uh, just a little above zero and this one they have the most and as you could see we have this much number of outliers let's go to our campaign let's execute this one campaign okay we can also see here the outliers and the distribution so basically we could say that it is not normal just like this one too and we could see the skewness of our data this is skewed to the left now let's have this variable p days let's execute this one okay this one is so weird because as you could see here we have this much number of p days for this particular number and so we also have a lot of outliers and this is actually very logical if we're going to see this one okay so we have 35 and 69 so i'm um, just look at the disparity the variation so let's now go to the variable age now we have those clients that we have the most are here 30 or just let's have this one maybe uh, 28 20, 30 okay 28 going to um even this one these clients must be served very well but if you just would like to focus on those aged 30 and 40 then that's better so this population segment are actually earning a lot they have better pace better salaries so if i am an agent i would focus much on these demographics age demographics because they offer more opportunities to make sales and for this one above 60 60 and above i would say that not too much because they are not actually earning and they are in their shall we say sunset days and for these demographics here this is very understandable because they are just students most of them are students and also some of them are just working are uh, starting to work and still trying to thrive in the industry that they are working in let's go now to our bivariate analysis so in this case we are comparing two features numerical features so for this one we will have first the balance and duration so let's execute this one and see here we could see the duration on the other hand and the balance on the other hand and in this case we have the campaign and the p days so we have four in this case the relationship the linear relationship is not that very much pronounced actually it's not really positive for us to also better see the relationships between and among the different numerical features we're going to use the pair plot function let's have this one executed and it may take quite a while because we have actually a lot of um, data so just have some coffee and enjoy your waiting time okay now we have this one let's see which ones have shall we say linear relationship by examining all of these relationships we could say that the relationship is not really pronounced as linear some are just in between so for example we have this one duration and what's this um p days okay the p days and the age and also let's have the balance and the age so just by seeing this one um it's not actually that good and it's not actually very easy for us to identify okay so the better way to do that is we're going to use a correlation map let's have this one first there you go and for better understanding let's have a picture 
the balance in comparison to or in correlation to age this one is actually higher as what we have said but not that high but the others are negative this one is the balance and okay we have the i mean the previous p previous and the age you have negative higher negative correlation the previous and the p days they have very high positive correlation p days and the previous okay same we're going to see how other variables or features correlate with balance let's execute this one so here um we can easily see which one has higher correlation value with balance and this one is age and this is actually a very logical it's because based on our univariate analysis just a while ago we could say that this range here we have the most number of customers do you want to know more about this channel let's click these cards we do have a lot of free data science courses for free like machine learning essentials deep learning mathematics and a lot more here you can always learn an upskill for free